Hello YouTube, uh, it is the, oh bloody hell that sun's bright isn't it, um, Twive Guy here, uh, today I'm going to show you how to adjust your valves on the Spitfire, so it is, uh, you've got to adjust them to 0 0.01 inch, I'll just double check that on the Haynes manual, um, here. yep, uh, 0 0.01 of an inch, or um, it is 25mm, um, wrong, 0.25mm. What you're going to need for the job is you're going to need a half inch spanner, you're going to need a feeler gauge, you're going to need a flat head screwdriver and uh, depending on how you're going to um, crank the engine uh, you may need a big um, socket or if you can use the fan, um, if you're going to use the fan like I'm going to use, please just be careful of not breaking the fan um, but yeah let's get to it. So as you can see, the rocker cover or valve cover is already off and I've already um, cranked the engine. So number eight is down and number one is up, okay? Now on the Haynes manual, I will put a picture um, up here somewhere. In fact, I'll just flood the screen with the picture. Um, and then what you can do is you can screenshot that and then you know um, what needs to be down and what needs to be up in order to do it. Now. You know once it's fully up because it will get a bit of play okay also it's quite a good time to see if your timing marks i don't know if you can see uh um lined up because at the moment it's at top dead center i to take these glasses off because they are um I'm winding me up a little bit <laughs> keep trying to fall off and all you're going to do is you're going to loosen up this bolt slightly and then turn this first of all i'm just going to check to see if the um if it needs any alignment you can see you can't see i'll put a picture i've put a picture on the um top bit there and um it says basically zero uh one zero and then underneath uh, 0 0.25 millimeters I'm just gonna give it a little push under that yeah you should get a little bit of resistance yeah but not too much okay so they're done too tight, so there's a little bit of resistance, but not too much, okay? Um, if it is um, if it is too tight, you'll, you'll, you'll screw your valves up, basically. And if it's too loose, uh, they'll rattle. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the manual. So obviously I've done... This picture, obviously, was where I told you to screenshot. Number eight, fully open. Number one, so now I'm going to go over to six, which should mean at three. So now, as you can see, one, two, three is the one we're going to be adjusting now. Four, five, six should be fully down, okay? So I'm going to get the feeler gauge again. Between there, and this one also feels too bad. It's a little bit of resistance. Okay, so if you do find one which is uh, loose, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have actually found one, number seven. You see, no resistance whatsoever. You can do just grab your 13 mil. Loosen off ever so slightly. Then, what you're going to do is uh, tighten the screw, and then you're going to keep the screwdriver in there and tighten this back up, and then retry it. Okay, I'll try and get a decent camera angle on this. Down. So essentially, um, if you don't have the manual, I'm going to quickly explain the rule of nine, okay? Um, so essentially, all numbers have to add up to nine, and then this will tell you which um, valve needs to be closed and which one needs to be open in order to adjust, okay? So if you're adjusting number one, you add eight, which gives you nine, that means eight has to be um, open, 
eight has to be down and then uh, one that falls open so you can um so you can use the feeder gauge okay so it'll then go two and seven three and six and so on so on so on okay i will post also in the description um what else like you know the bits and bobs as well um on the Triumph Spitfire if you've got uh, I think a six cylinder I think it's a rule of 13 um but if you if you shouldn't really be watching this video if you've got a uh, six cylinder um but yeah thanks very much for watching please make sure you like and subscribe any questions please don't hesitate to ask just put them in the uh, comments below I, I am pretty good at getting back to people um I am away for the next 10 days or so but I will 100% will get back to you um but yeah thanks very much for watching and I'll uh, see you soon